All right, guys, we're getting a little bit closer to getting the node red on our Raspberry Pi. So, but I wanted, what I wanna also wanna do is I wanna record the display on my Raspberry Pi. So I wanna be able to have my Raspberry Pi being seen on my laptop. So I'm gonna go through the steps in order to get that to work with you today. So right now I have uh, my keyboard and my mouse connected up to my Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna give that bad boy some power in 30 seconds. Uh, right now I've, I have a VGA connector to my display. So I've got a um, HDMI to a VGA connector there. Uh, and all I need to do is just give this bad boy some power. And based on our previous videos, we should see the operating system turn on. So let me just give this guy some power. There we go. So she's lighting up. There we go. Zoom in. And then the Raspbian should come on in two seconds. Well, it's gorgeous. Here she comes just booting up there. Hey, it's gorgeous. Let me just drop the ISO and then maybe we can see the screen a little bit better. Beautiful. Okay, so right now I can go on here and I'm coming on and I can see all of the, the different programs, office, internet, games, accessories. Um, but I wanna be able to see this screen on my laptop. So I wanna be able to record this because um, I don't have any screen recorder on here. And I mean, this isn't bad with this lighting and everything, but it's hard to see distinct things and I can't zoom in or anything on the screen. So we need to be able to have this bad boy being seen on our laptop over here. So let's go through the steps in order to get this screen that we're seeing on a Raspberry Pi uh, being able to see on our laptop. So there's two programs that we're going to uh, download and I'll walk you through those steps right now. Okay, so I just finished saying that uh, you need two programs. I'm not sure about the second program. You definitely need real VNC. I'm not sure whether you need, need PuTTY. I just got this working using real VNC and PuTTY, um, but we're gonna see whether we can just get it going with real VNC. So I'm gonna put uh, the specific link to get you to the page for real VNC. Uh, if you are on this web page though, real VNC, then you're gonna go to products and we're gonna go down here to real, v sorry, VNC Connect for Raspberry Pi. So re secure remote access built in and free for non-commercial use of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, going down here, uh, we have the downloads for the download viewer. So we're gonna download that in two seconds. Uh, if you want to learn more, then you can click on this guy. So setting up your Raspberry Pi and it's gonna give everything that we need to set up the Raspberry Pi. But let's go back one page here. Uh, and we're going to download the VNC viewer. So we're gonna click on this. And I am, that brings you to this page right here. Okay, so I can get rid of this guy. Um, and I'm using a Windows uh, laptop, so I'm gonna use the Windows version, but you have all these different operating systems that you can download for. Uh, so I'm gonna download the VNC viewer and I have a 64 bit computer, so I'm gonna do that guy. So we're going to save this guy. Okay, I'm using Firefox, so it's right up here. So it's done now. I'm going to open this guy. Uh, select English. And it is on 6.18.907. Looks good. Accept the terms. Hit next. And it looks like it's going to put a desktop shortcut as well. Whatever. Okay, let's install this guy. Yes. Beauty. Completed the VNC viewer uh, setup wizard. Click finish uh, to exit the setup wizard. Excellent. Okay, so it seems like I can get away with just using the VNC because I don't have putty on my computer yet. Uh, I downloaded VNC viewer and I called up my Raspberry Pi and I was able to, uh, to talk to it right away. So let me show you the steps. You can see here, uh, this is my screen from the Raspberry Pi. And as I move my mouse on my laptop here, it's synchronizing with the Raspberry Pi. So I can see my mouse moving over to the left 
on the other screen there on my Raspberry Pi. Very cool. Okay, so let's get this bigger that we can see it. Okay, so the steps that I got to have this working was uh, I went to this guy right here. So I went to the Raspberry Pi and then I went down to uh, accessories and then I went down to terminal. Okay, and because you can see right here that I am tying into uh, with the VNC 192.168.2.141. So that's the IP. I'm at home right now, so that's the IP in my home for my Raspberry Pi. So how are you gonna find that? Well, you type in IF config, and then you hit enter. And then it brings you up with all of your IP addresses. So 192.168.2.141, right? So you can see that right here. There's my LAN network here. Uh, I am connecting up. I don't have any ethernet connections to the Raspberry Pi. I'm simply hooking up through Wi-Fi and my laptop is also hooked up through Wi-Fi as well. So I don't have any ethernet connections to either the Raspberry Pi or to the laptop. So I'm not on the ethernet. I'm, I'm on this guy right here and there is the IP for my Raspberry Pi, 192.168.2.141. Excellent. Okay. Then the next thing that I want you to do is type in uh, sudo. So I, from what I understand, the sudo overrides any safeties. And then we're going to do space raspi. And we're going to do config. And we'll hit enter. So again, I'm going a little bit too fast. The first thing I put in was ifconfig. That gave us our IP address for our Raspberry Pi. The next thing we're doing is we're typing in sudo raspi-config and then hitting enter. Okay, and that brings up this uh, menu right here. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, just referencing my notes here. We're gonna scroll down to advanced options. Okay, so I can click on it, but it does, doesn't work. So I have to use the arrow keys to go down to advanced options. I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, and I'm looking for uh, something to do with VNC, and VNC is not there. Okay, so that's not where we're supposed to go. So we'll go down here. I'm gonna right click to get down to select, right click to go to back. Okay, so some of you may have it uh, under advanced options. The other place you may have it, because I didn't have it there, is you're gonna scroll down to uh, interfacing options, and you're gonna hit enter. And we're looking for VNC. Oh, right on. Okay, there it is right there. So enable, disable graphical remote access to your Pi re using real VNC. Awesome. It's already part of the Raspberry Pi uh, software. So we're going to click enter. Okay, would you like uh, the VNC server to be enabled? Uh, yes. Okay, the VNC server is enabled. Excellent. Hit OK. Okay, next thing we're going to do once we've done that is we're going to put in sudo. Hello. Space and then reboot. So we're going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. We'll hit enter. Okay, now you can see that I've lost that connection through the VNC server. So we'll wait for a few seconds for the Raspberry Pi to turn on. And then we'll open up VNC again and we'll see whether we can reconnect to it. So we'll pause here and I'll come back in two seconds. Okay, so I can see beside me that the Raspberry Pi has rebooted. So I'm now going to open up VNC. So I'm going to come down here to my start menu. Open this guy up. I've already put it uh, right here, but obviously it is, if you're using a Windows machine, it's going to be right. Oh, it's not actually under V. It's under real VNC. So here we go right here. So it's right here. Um, and I always forget that it's under real VNC. So I put it right here in my start menu. So we're going to double click on VNC viewer. Excellent. Okay, so now all we need to do is we just need to type in the IP address that we just saw on our Raspberry Pi. And for me, it was 192.168.2.141. We'll hit enter. Okay, it's asking for me to sign into the, the Pi. So your defaults are Pi. And then your password, if you have not changed it yet, is Raspberry.
okay. So we'll hit okay and hopefully we'll be able to talk to it. Oh, it's awesome. That's phenomenal. So it doesn't seem like we need uh, putty. So you can leave a comment uh, below if I have missed a crucial step. Uh, I previously gotten this going by using uh, a putty. I will put a link for that guy as well, just in case you, uh, in case it's needed. But it seems like the VNC viewer is already on the Raspbian. Um, and as long as you've downloaded it to your laptop, you are able to talk to your Raspberry Pi. Yeah, man, I'm moving my cursor here. It is also moving the cursor on my screen for my Raspberry Pi. I can open up menus. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. So with one program, it seems like you just download the VNC viewer, uh, enable it on your Raspberry Pi or your Raspbian uh, software, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now I can completely control remotely um, my Raspberry Pi. And there's no wires going to like the kind of, sorry, it kind of blows my mind. There are no wires, ethernet cables going to the, to the, uh, the laptop. There are no ethernet cables going to uh, the Raspberry Pi. I have full control over that bad boy uh, just by installing one software. That was really cool. Excellent. So just with that one program, I've got both the screens being seen. So and I have full control over my Raspberry Pi. So this guy is my cooked up to my Raspberry Pi. That's my laptop right there. And what I'll do is I'll do a picture in picture right now uh, where I'll put the, the Raspberry Pi screen picture in picture on the, the laptop. And you can see that as I move the mouse, I'll be able to control both of them simultaneously. Excellent. Okay, so you can see here that as I move my mouse here, you're seeing it on the display of the Raspberry Pi. And what are we going to do? Let's we can go up to the menu here, right? We can go to uh, to games, which would bring up this one right here. So I go to Python games, which brings up this menu right here. And then I want to play. Uh, something like Tetris or something, so Pentamino. So I'm going to do this five block Tetris, press any key to play, and you can see that on the Raspberry Pi screen as well. And so I can now control everything there, and you can see it's exactly the same on both of the screens. That's, that's a phenomenal program. This is awesome. This way I can now, uh, I won't need to have a... Uh, really bad at doing Tetris while I'm talking at the same time. I won't need to have a screen on my Raspberry Pi anymore. I can control it from my laptop. And now anything that I'm doing on the Raspberry Pi, I can then uh, record and screen capture everything I'm doing from now on. Really cool, all with one pro program. So leave a comment below if this has uh, worked for you. Uh, if I missed a crucial step, then tell me right away. And I will, uh, I will update or put some comments uh, to talk about what other programs we need, but it seems as if um, all we need is the VNC viewer, and now we can screen record anything that we are doing. Looks like I need some help on Tetris. I haven't played this in years. All right, guys, so hopefully uh, everything worked out for you. If it worked out for you, then please leave me a like. Um, if it didn't work out, then leave a comment below and tell me what things I need to change. Uh, and I will see you on the next video where we're building up to have the Raspberry Pi and Node Red. Uh, providing us some really cool applications. All right, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks very much for watching.